Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. Now, I just wanted to go through this. So I bought these a few months ago, and uh, yeah, I've been meaning to do a video for the longest time and just haven't got around to it. So I've come across a seller on eBay that was selling a bunch of old Star Wars weeklies. Now these are the UK versions, so they're like magazine format, I believe. Um, they probably were released this way in Australia too. I'm not 100% sure, I wasn't there. Um, but I sort of, they were only sort of 10 bucks each, so I grabbed myself five, five issues and, uh, you know, sort of tried to get like just character representation for each of the front covers. And, uh, you know, I really like this one. Obviously first appearance of Jackson the Rabbit there. And the guy with a red lightsaber, Han and Chewie on the front. So number 16, week ending May 24th, 1978, 10p, so yeah, these were, these were British, um, so I got this cover as well, it's got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, number 43, November 29th, 1978, I have a Luke, Fighting Vader, which is really cool. They're actually in pretty good condition too. So this one is November 15th, 1978. At last, the return of Darth Vader in Death Jewel. So yeah, it's just cool to sort of see old ad advertisements and stuff. Uh, another Han and Chewie sort of centric one. That was the first one I showed was mainly just because it was that that cover. I just really like the cover. Guardians of the Galaxy Tales of the Watcher. Also featuring Star Lord. Now I haven't actually flicked through this, so I'm not actually sure whether it's going to contain Star Lord and the Guardians of the Galaxy, but. Yes, it looks like it does. Because there is Thanos, Vision, so yeah, the final, final flower. So yeah, it's. It's interesting, I haven't actually I hadn't actually looked through it. Guardians of the Galaxy. Breaking up it is death to do whatever that means. So yeah, interesting. I'm gonna uh definitely gonna have a closer look through these. Yeah, so I bought them, I sort of just I've sort of just kept them on the shelf. There's a Palatoy advert there, which is cool. New from the Palatoy Star Wars collection. It's the Droid Factory. Cantina place set up the top there. The Creature Cantina. That's really cool. And yeah, 3PO and R2 on the front of this one. May the 3rd, 1978. The day before May the 4th. I mean, the first May the 4th. Well, it wasn't a thing back then. Free Inside Colour Poster. Star Wars Mini Poster, first of a matching pair. Collect number two next week. Welcome to the world of Star Wars. Okay, I love that. That's fantastic. Let's see the post has been removed. There are some loose staples. It's probably uh, long gone, long lost to time, the particular poster from this one. There's some, uh, some crazy cool stuff in these books. 
May the Force beam with you. <laughs> Be a Star Wars hero and defend your galaxy with the Force beam. Sturdily built in plastic and strong enough for heroes, light enough for princesses. Enjoy the cosmic fun and galactic excitement as your 41 inch long illuminated force beam cuts through darkness with a single shaft of red or green light. Visible earth blocks away. The force beam is powered by two U2 batteries. Not supplied. Only 295 plus 55p postage and packing. Cut out and post a Lloyd Dale Limited 22 Marketplace Walking Hamburgshire RG11 1AP So that's kind of cool I feel like that would be classed as sort of a sexist remark light enough for princesses <laughs> That's that probably be, that probably wouldn't wouldn't cross these days Be a Star Walker on your own planet with the force beam Yes I should actually mail in for it see what happens so yeah, these are just really cool. I'm uh, definitely on the hunt for more. Um, it's not something I'm ever gonna try and collect all of, but you know, I just wanted to get some, like some particularly cool copies and um, things. So uh, yeah, definitely want to get some nice sort of bags for these. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share these in a quick video. Just something different, you know just to break up the uh, figures a little bit. So I hope you've enjoyed having a little look at these. I think they're really, really cool little historic documents. So um, yeah, very happy to have them in the collection. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, yeah, you can find in the description all my links to my social media and stuff like that. Come and give me a follow, give me a like, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. May the force beam with you. May the force beam with you, always. <laughs>